15 turnovers a game. So, so far, UAB winning the turnover battle. Often had some space, and then he was cut off, and then he goes right by Jordan Brown. Watch by Sharp at 7-5. Takes it against the big man. The pump fake. The end one. They'll go inside. Lofton around Pinkney. Lofton with the jam. On the free throw line, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, how about the up and under? Junior Lofton. Lofton. Williams to Lofton, two-hand jam! The big A 9-0 run! Well, foul trouble has been a problem for him as he's fouled out of three games as Junior Lofton and one. I'll tell you, great entry pass. I'll tell you what, he reminds me of Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley always had a little extra weight. This is where they want the ball down here with Lofton. He can do damage down here. And that's exactly what he does. He uses his... Louisiana Tech hasn't settled down into their offense yet. But when they need a bucket, they go to Junior Lofton. It's amazing. NC, you know, it's hard to stop. He says somebody needs to run at him a little bit earlier. He catches it down there. That's a bucket. 19. And this is some kind of pace for Helms. Lofton trying to answer. Before Thanksgiving, everybody can get a little bit better. We get... After Thanksgiving, closer to Christmas, you get into the ACC games. Those guys are going to have to. Big man gets it down low, and he is a bully down there. I tell you, real crafty. Bradford lost it, got it back inside. Too low. Too low. He catches the ball. E.B. Dewana, eight points now. Home run pass. Lofton able to catch and finish. I tell you what, he's getting a little bit better every game, and they're going to need that. The hesitation. Oh, yes, he can score. I mean, he just has so many tools, so versatile. Oh, jeez. I think you <laughs> used the right word, bully. Up against a much taller Parker Brown. Shot is missed, but he gets his own rebound. Inside to Lofton. Lofton up off the window, misses the shot, gets his own rebound, and puts it back Bradford. in Bradford. Now it's Archibald. They're trying to post down low. They get it into the hands of Kenneth Lofteners. Bradford. Archibald into the block to Lofton. Jump hook off the glass. Looks behind to Christensen. Lob into the block. This is Lofton. Baseline drive for Kenneth Lofton. Up under. Nice little English on it. In his third year, Stewart down low to the big man. Lofton who leans in and scores it. Timeout. This is Green. Lob inside to Lofton Jr. He's double teamed under there. Pump fake. Scores off the glass. He's so Bradford defended by Miguel Tomley. Now it's Lofton. Lofton has it nearly stolen, spins out of it, and then has his shot partially, well, it was partially. Now can they get the stop? Lofton driving to the basket, flips it up and in, and Parker Brown. 153 clock running. You think anybody other than Kenneth Lofton Jr. is going to be shooting it? Lofton to the basket, misses, tip up and in. He got his own miss. Left to go as Williams crosses midcourt, bounces out top to Lofton. Lofton turns the corner. Lofton getting in deep, and he scores Williams it. Williams works the dribble out top. Holding. Now it's Christian. He's open for three. They lob inside, and a two-handed rip for Lofton, and he has 31 points. And we have a timeout as the Broncos are now down 74. Archibald off to Lofton. Five to shoot. Long two-pointer. Lofton on the drive with the left hand, tipped up and in. Our angle got blocked out a little bit. Yeah. I don't believe it was. Brown drives in. He's missed his last two, which feels significant in this game. Lofton from the free throw line, one on one. Oh, how about the up and under? Junior Lofton! Don't you? You do, but it's just it's a hard question to answer now if that goes in what you did with Barnett quick trigger from the corner the answer for junior Lofton Lofton back inside now with the left just the way Bob Marlin drew it up Lofton had some space and then he was cut off and then he goes right by Jordan Brown Williams on the drive absorbs some contact how about the Willis quick load short Lofton's got it underneath up fake go strong Lofton it's fed way away from the top. Snaps it off to Christensen and one.
waiting for someone to cut. Yeah, they gave it to Lofton, and I felt like everybody just stood around and watched him. Lofton. And one. Lofton not barreling over the defender. Great catch. Gets through a strong hand. And then some cheerleader love as well. Williams with two on the timer. Rattles away. Lofton. To Lofton, but led George Mason to the Final Four in 2006. Yeah, I mean, just look how he the off ball. He's slow up the floor. Lofton slithers in line. Reverse! Tied to the... And to shoot now. Here's Lofton Jr. back in the game. Scoreless so far. 0 for 2 for the field. There's his first bucket. That means a lot. Yep. Lofton Jr. right at Sharp. Trying to get the big man of foul trouble. Nice pay for two. Starts the game here today. There's the lefty. Still a freshman eligibility wise. Kick out. Long range shot. Much needed. They double team inside against Lofton Jr. Kicks it out. Archer ball splash. 36 Lofton Jr. Here's the kick out. Long range shot. I missed this time. Short. Stewart. By both big men. Lofton gets it. Throws inside. Nice finish by Archibald. What a play by the last seven point game. Now, high post, Lofton Jr. Watched by Sharp at 7 5. Takes it against the big man. The pump fake. The end one. <laughs> Can it work? There we go. Being doubled. Spins pump fake. Chuck Daly, the great coach of uh, Dream Team number one, 1992, would love that. Pump fake. He might have hurt us. The big dog not eating, but that big dog had a little nibble. Lofton Jr. responds to the free throw line. Visiting rims here in Ruston. Lofton Jr. the handle. Sharp the three fouls. The pump fake. The bucket. Uh, with his uh, effort out there, uh, the Golden Eagles. And here you see another another easy basket. Imagine you're going to see it. Like, one of these kids get off to a hot start, which they've done. They're playing with a lot of intensity. And they're still, that's a philosophy. He's going to take this a nice job moving it around, trying to work it inside to loss here. And, Golden Eagles without Isaiah Moore. He's unavailable this afternoon, so Yoxon's getting an opportunity to play a little bit of the post underneath. You see what a what a just what a powerful thing for this team to have for him to, to be such a force down there on the baseline. Great pass there, one on one. Good job using his body. Bradford to Lofton. Lofton, the nice touch there. Just knew they had some players like Jerome Pierre that could shoot outside. Tyler Stevenson was very physical inside, as you see. The and big he's so hard, as you see again, he post up. You don't get out on him. He'll hit the jumper like that. One. Willis on the on the floor has 14. Again, the double team comes up. Lofton. UAB forces 18 turnovers a game. So so far, UAB winning the turnover battle. Junior Lofton, getting Lofton. Junior Lofton, number two, hasn't scored in the post yet. His only two points was a jump shot. A turnaround over Jemison. Crowd. Nice fall away jump shot over the seven footer Jemison. He makes it. Get Zag out of things. Lofton working, working, working. 25 in green. Now Lofton wants it back. And Lofton will use that touch. And look at that. Got to get Junior Lofton going. And he goes up against Jemison. And he'll go to the free throw line. Who do you go to? Your superstar. The guy who can get it in the paint and score. That is so crafty around the basket. Jefferson, seven feet tall. Louisiana Tech can live with that. But you don't want to give him too many of those because he'll knock them down. Lofton again. Got the space. Never give it back on the road in a tough environment. Give them a lot of credit for hanging around here. Lofton, bold lead Level game is... Some of the most exciting against Charlotte, that three-point loss in Houston. Lofton, set shot. The 80, the, the bad guys in town are 9-0 when they scored 80 or more a game. Keeps the pivot foot, can't get it to go, gets it himself and off to Lofton. Lofton good with the good to the Bulldogs. Carl it's, Malone Court. It's been called Carl Malone Court since 2007. Junior Lofton. Fans would like to see him get going. One-on-one -on -one action between Lofton and Fiedler. Lofton. 
had a rough summer. Suffered an injury. In a They've had a rough time all night shooting the three ball, but if they can get some shots to fall, they can make this uncomfortable getting in the way. Calling for the basketball. Gets it with the left hand. For three, popped out. Lofton skying for the rebound and putting it back in for two. Crashing. Yeah, that's in line with FIU as a team. Oh, what, the, what a cut. Wow. He's going to be able to tip it to Banks. Now matched up against Lofton. Got to his left and put it in for two. The opponents have shot 44% from outside. Lofton missed one at the rim. Got it back over Brown. Good for two. <laughs> Kenneth a little bit off balance and it looked like it was going down. On the baseline, Archibald for two. That value lost track. In transition, they come out and made plays of their own. With a nice backdoor cut. They'll go inside, Lofton around Pinckney. Lofton with the jam. He stares down. They go down the court to Lofton. He's by himself. Brown comes back. Foul! And the bucket, Kenneth Lofton. What a game. What a play. By LaTeX and Archibald to see him wide open. And Brown tried to get back. It, uh, if, you, if you're going to foul him there, it's got For FIU, Lofton's been so good at the line today. Down low to Lofton, one on one with Jemison. Lofton will go. Lofton wants all of Gordon. Picked up that one early foul, and there he is on the offensive glass. Lofton lives in that carving dribble and be able to get that pass off. Lofton plotting, and he will. Draws the help at the end. Now, here, I like Lofton at 270 plus pounds. two big fellas. Lofton and one and Jemison has picked up two feet in the paint. They're gonna shoot a high percentage. And there we talk about winning collisions. Who moved on that? I mean, if there's a collision, look at that. Jemison's going out of bounds, not. Jemison back in with three fouls and Lofton returns. Lofton left wide open. Boom, 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 man, he finishes. Assembly center. Tech, the designated home team in white. The blue letters and numbers. Lofton, Knights back in his high school days at Louisiana Tech. Sends out the same starting fives it did in the regular season finale. Rennitz. Junior Lofton going over a couple of the U19 World Cup. Yeah, he was a key contributor in that win. Lofton over his fellow. Like they've had some success, and they absolutely have. You look at the 150 wins for Coach Women, who were the second seed in the West, so lots of mean green going to be around here. Junior coming in, but I found the rhythm. They may need it again. Again, Lofton backing off his defender. Puts it in over Byers. Early on. The officials letting teams play. There's the contact right there. Good You're adding 16 points and eight rebounds for the Owls, who next face the North Texas Mean Green in the quarterfinals. Again, backing off his defender as he plays with four fouls. So right down to the post for Lofton with nine to shoot. Backing down sharp. This is the matchup we'll watch all night. Often matched up with Sharp down low. What a move. Um, Ten point deficit. And WKU has come back to tie the game four minutes into the second half. Lofton, a jumper. Okay. Ten to shoot once again. End of the shot clock for Louisiana Tech. Lofton will try the jumper. Second separates the shot and game clock. Archibald to Lofton. Lofton drives baseline against Sharp. He goes up. Get away. Kobe Williams, six seconds. Two one. Williams to Lofton, two hand jam. <laughs> A 9 0 run. You can still split those double teams. Lofton, the double. They slop it away. Lofton showed off the move. Now, part of the reality of this game, there is so much weight for each team. You need to win this game to get in. Williams again. Short. Lofton again, put back. The big fella is, he's going to that rest in the first half, helped him. Buffin, aggressive, ah! offensive foul. 
in the pregame. Kenny, Kenneth Lofton Jr. plays with a lot of passion, competitive spirit. This is what you do. Willis looks to Lofton, that short corner. Driving on Buffett, hangs, tough shot. Two elite scorers. Of course, Andy Kennedy, the second leading scorer in UAB history. Lofton against Jemison, staying tall, and Lofton finishes. Participation awards in all these kids' sports, but he wants you to have a participation award in that situation. What a spin by Lofton.